Hey there, fellas. Check this out. Here's what we're up to in this one. I've got a wheel right here, which we've modified. We flipped the middle section. And an idea occurred to us. You might recall how we made a set of wheels that had a super deep dish and made it for a mad look. And so why not try and make a wheel where you can... Um, adjust how far the rim sticks out relative to the hub. Like, say, you roll up to a car meet, and on demand you got ridiculously wide rims, which you can revert to their narrow form when it's time to drive back to the garage. What we're going for is a set of wheels where you can change the offset. This being a test, um, we'll be going with steelies for starters. Yeah, let's make us wheels with adjustable offset. Let's do this. Big thanks for your support, guys. Your likes, views, comments. And as a token of our appreciation, we've prepared an awesome surprise. We've collabed with a few professional artists and designers to make six posters depicting some of our most iconic builds. And we're giving you the opportunity to buy a digital copy of one of those posters. And at a bargain price, just two dollars a piece. And if you order all six posters at once, the entire set is only going to cost you ten dollars. After payment goes through, the posters will be emailed to you in high resolution. You can print them, hang them on your wall, or give them as a gift. By purchasing these posters, you will really help support our channel in these difficult times. The more of these posters we are able to sell, the more great content we will be able to make for you in the future. So if you want to support our channel, go ahead and buy a digital download. Links in the description. We make rims with variable offset. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Check this out. We are using some regular old steelies for this project. We've already removed the centerpiece, though we've done so carefully. We've gone ahead and uh, drilled out all of the weld points. And uh, here we have the hub. And uh, this is the rim itself. And now is the time for us to decide how we go about making it so that the middle piece is able to slide back and forth. We sort of have an idea, but we've yet to set everything up. Check out what we got here. We decided not to weld on the dish itself, as to keep everything concealed. What we've done is weld on a few pins to the inner part of the wheel. Since we've got these slots, the centerpiece can be moved around. Right now the offset is where it's supposed to be from the factory. Looks exactly like the factory steely wood, except that we've sprayed on some paint. And, uh, yeah, in here we have the adjustment, which you can barely see from the outside. Okay, let's throw it on and go for a drive. 
and then slide the wheel in and out. Let's go. Okay, we've brought the car down, it's all good. And let's try this out. We'll be driving slowly around the garage, so there won't be any issues. So it's all good. And let's take this outside. We're out, that's a good start. Let's continue on our way. Not like we were expecting much to happen. Aside from maybe testing the durability of the thing. So far, these are just like normal wheels. The car is driving without displaying any abnormal behavior. Yeah, we're all right. Yep, it's all good. I'm not sensing any sort of wobble or vibration. No, nothing. It's all good, and I like that. Okay, jack up the car, undo the bolts, slightly increase the offset, see how it looks, and uh, continue the testing. Let's get to it. So look here, we've brought them out, but it's only about halfway. Still, look at how wide the rim is now. Yeah, you can definitely tell that there's something going on. It's not necessarily split weld style. What with the sidewall being straight up? Still looks completely different. You got a deep dish effect. The hub is sitting real deep. Fantastic. And if I can reiterate, that's just half of the adjustment range. Now, the interesting thing here is that the middle part, well, it used to have a surface to press up against. It doesn't now. The pins and the slots are all that's holding the wheel together. And the big question now would be, is the wheel going to stay in one piece? It looks terrific. But as for how it's going to fare while driving, well, let's find out, shall we? Okay. Now we're going to drive around. What's going to happen? The wheels. They're just fine while we're driving slowly. Yeah, they're fine while you're taking it easy. I'm over the hump. And so far, they're keeping it together. Nothing has fallen apart, that's nice. Yeah, I can hear a very familiar noise. That's the tire rubbing against the wheel arch. But then, I mean, it is on the verge of escaping its confines. I still can't see the tire in the rearview mirror, though. But that's fine, after all, we still have some adjustment to spare. Whoa, why did grip like that when I let off? Nope, don't feel any vibration. It is rubbing, yeah, but we don't have any vibration. And that is very good indeed. So that's a pretty sick rim we got. And now it's time to go crazy. Let's make it super wide. Ну 
Okay, guys. At this point, these rims are just looking wild. These look really cool. With the middle of the wheel set super deep. And the rim itself moved so far out. The middle is sitting as deep as the rim is wide. And I'd say it looks quite nice indeed. Okay, now it's time for a bit of durability testing. Time to start the engine and take this party outside. We are ready and here we go. I can drive fairly confidently without worrying that something is going to break. Here we go. And now I can see a lot of tire in the rearview mirror. It's sticking out relative to the body a good, um, I'd say, 35 millimeters at least. Yeah, that seems about right. And the tires are hitting the arches both on the left and on the right. Okay then. Without going too far... Almost hit the ice. Eh, no big deal. Everything seems to be stable, no vibration. Looks like we got everything bang on. I mean, with three mounting points, it wouldn't be too difficult to adjust everything. And uh, we're looking pretty good. Do we have a wobble, though? No, we do not. That's nice to know. Plenty of rubbing against the arches, though. But no worries. You always have to compromise somewhere. Overall, I'd say we've done well. That is some truly mad style. It's nice that there's no noticeable vibration. Spinning the wheels in second. And uh, you still have no sort of a rattle, strange noises and such. Let's ask the expert, though. Yo, Victor, what do you think about the offset? Awesome. You like it? Oh, yeah. You keen? Sure. You want to go for it? We have a deal, then. You can actually adjust it. You can slide the wheel in and out. So uh, take your wheels off and let's make it happen. There you go. All right. So even with the offset this wild, the wheel has kept it together nicely. This looks terrific. If only this weren't a steely. Put an alloy wheel instead. I'm sure we can do this with an alloy. Can we find another way to do it, though? So that you don't have anything poking out and uh, getting in the way of installation. But overall, this turned out great. And that's all I got for you guys. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. And that's it for this video. Catch you guys later.